Renzo Piano designed an architectural masterpiece to house the California Academy of Sciences. But the distinctive design came with an unexpected issue. When the building opened in 2008, birds began striking its large glass windows. As a museum, we collect every one of those birds and we get all the data that we can. And there was a young student who first started working with us when he was nine years old. And when he was in high school and he was very sharp, an excellent birder, we decided this would be a great project for him to take on and actually work on that data and write it up as his first publication. Logan Kale had five years worth of data to sort through to understand which birds were hitting the building and why. But Jack asked Logan to dig a little deeper. He was able to survey the areas around the academy throughout the year to figure out what birds occur here. And then that was the critical baseline data that we could compare to the window strikes. We set up plots to survey for the region uh, since we wanted to find out whether or not the bird window collisions were affected by side, age, sex, and the living roof if that had an effect to try to help understand and then mitigate the problem of window strikes. We have found that at least in the strikes, juveniles are overrepresented more so than adults. They hit about three times more often. And males are more susceptible than females, which I think maybe because they're more territorial. We did find that there were certain birds that were more susceptible, and it tended to be the smaller birds. Um, for example, hummingbirds were about 50% of our strikes. While studying the fatalities, the team was also trying to prevent bird strikes, and their methods were beginning to pay off. Over the years, the number has decreased because of the mitigation techniques. Once we realized that birds were striking these big windows, we just dropped the shades down, and we were able to show that that does, in fact, um, drop the number of birds that are striking. But we wanted a better solution than that, because we wanted light to be able to go into the building. So here behind me, you can actually see one of the window treatments that we have. And so these are decals pasted on the exterior of the building, so they actually shut down those reflections that the birds might see. And they're tight enough lines that the birds can easily see them and not try and fly between them. And so these appear to be very effective. And Jack and Logan hope that we all learn from their study by dropping the shades or applying similar decals or using other techniques. Between 300 million and a billion birds are killed by windows every year. People often think, oh, that's not a problem in my house. It's actually more of a problem with big city skyscrapers. And the studies have shown that that's not the case, that every window can kill birds. And that actually, because there's so many houses compared to the number of skyscrapers, that it's actually people's residential homes that are having more of an impact than the large urban buildings. They all have an impact though, and I think we all have a responsibility to try and reduce bird kills by windows.